Direct ask events can be the most lucrative event strategy as you are offering people an opportunity to be part of something great. And who doesn't want to be part of the success of a worthwhile cause? Watch this video to take your income to the next level and get you fully funded. Hi, I'm Jim Dempsey. In this video, this channel is designed to help you raise money for your nonprofit. If you like what you hear, please subscribe. Let's get started. Other than possibly personal appointments with a donor, very few strategies yield the kind of donations attained at a direct ask event. But it's not just about the bottom line. Direct ask events also help grow awareness in the community and help to recruit volunteers and, and even full-time laborers for the hosting organization. Let's find out a little bit about direct ask events and how you can make them work for your organization. Direct ask events are defined as an event during which participants are informed about a project or program for their consideration as potential funders. Types of direct ask events are as follows. Small dinners. That's an intimate dinner with a few, usually six to 24, key donors where a specific project or program is presented for funding consideration. Vision dinners. That's a large dinner gathering for donors where a specific pro or project or program is presented for funding consideration. Next, vision trips, vision tours. That's a trip to, a fr to the front lines of your organization or a tour of facilities in which programs take place and a challenge is made to fund the effort. Major donor weekend events. That's an event for major donors and prospective major donors lasting from Thursday or Friday evening through Sunday noon in which participants are ministered to educated and motivated about the sponsoring organization and challenged to make a significant gift to the organization. If done correctly and with excellence, direct ask events are highly effective and will yield significant returns on investments for your organization. Here are the keys to implementing a successful direct ask event. Key number one, strategy. It's important to understand the principle and philosophy behind the direct ask strategy. Unlike pay for perceived value events, direct ask events rely on the philosophy that people give more overall when their expenses are covered. That means we don't sell tickets or tables because we believe people's generosity will yield more income when, than when they purchase a product or a service. Charging for a ticket or a table generally leads to reduced giving at the end because people believe that their giving was tied to the purchase of the ticket or the table. Overall, people give more when a purchase is taken out of the equation and they are offered an opportunity to give a donation or make a commitment. Ideally, planning should begin at least 16 to 20 weeks in advance and 24 weeks would be ideal. A timeline should be created listing all tasks that need to be performed in order to pull off the event. It is critical that the right people are invited to attend, whether that be a small intimate dinner with major donors, a weekend event or a vision tour or large dinner gathering for mostly mass to mid-level donors. I'll discuss this further in a minute. The real key to a direct ask is the appeal and how that is approached. There should be a clear and simple way for people to be involved through their giving. We'll discuss that in a minute as well. Lastly, a critical component that is often neglected is follow-up. Many organizations are so focused on the giving, the bottom line, that they forget the importance of actually getting the donation in the door, thanking the donor, and providing a means of reporting back on how the donation was used. Key number two, who to invite. Do a market analysis to determine who to invite. For weekend events or tours, Look for large donors, those giving 5,000 or more a year. For small dinners, look for major or key donors. For vision dinners, look for middle donors, consistent monthly donors, supporting or participating organizations like churches or other community organizations, individuals who volunteer with their, to your organization, prayer partners, or others who participate with their skills and talents. In some cases, you might invite your entire mailing list to include non-donors. 
In most cases, major donors don't show a desire to attend large dinners, but having a few in attendance is critical. Key number three, location or venue. Be sure to choose your location carefully. There are a few videos on this channel addressing the topic of finding the right venue and negotiating meals and other amenities. I'd suggest you check those out. Be sure to shop price and quality. If you are including beverages, meals, or sleeping rooms, determine the proper meeting space. Don't get a room so large that you get swallowed up, but also not so small that it doesn't accommodate for unexpected growth. A key factor in the success of a direct ask event is finding a venue that will attract people. Please resist the temptation of choosing a church, fire station, Knights of Columbus Hall, or other community location because it simply will cost less. Trust me, spending a little more money to get an attractive venue will draw more people and those people will give more than enough to make up the difference in venues. When choosing meeting space, consider the quality of audio and visual. Most venues, even the best, are deficient in quality sound and video equipment. Make sure to remember to have good lighting. Nothing can ruin an event more than not being able to hear or see the speaker. Look for the venue to provide miscellaneous elements at a complimentary cost. Piano, pens, centerpieces, changing rooms, and other items. Be sure to be considerate of those with disabilities or who are older in age. Find convenient parking, complimentary is best, and avoid stairs if possible. Key number four, date and time. Pick a date that works best for your community. March 15th to May 15th and September 15th to November 15th is always best for most parts in the United States. If your event is outside the U.S., check the best seasons of the year for events. With rare exceptions, Friday and Saturday are the best days to do an event. Our goal is to get both a husband and wife to attend. Weekdays and weeknights may cause only one of the parties to attend. Factor in times and traffic for those commuting. Key number five, setup. In most cases, round tables with six to ten per table work. Six to eight for small dinner events, eight to ten for large gatherings. Avoid a head table as it gives the feel of superiority. No dance floor, but podium and riser for events under 60 guests is best. Round tables also help facilitate discussion if you use a table host model for recruiting guests. Table hosts are not asked to buy tables, but simply fill tables with qualified guests willing to hear about opportunities for financial investment. Key number six, program. The program should include a master of ceremonies, a special or keynote speaker, music and video presentation. Organizational leaders and testimonials of lives changed as a result of your organization should also be included. Key number seven, the appeal. At a minimum, the appeal should be the climax of the evening, but a proven strategy includes a first and second half appeal. Ways to give, including how the money is used, are mentioned early, allowing people to process and pray about their giving, and then opportunities to give using the card or envelope are explained at the end. Adequate time is given to decide how much to give and cash and commitments are collected on the spot. The best appeals Assure that each person is given the opportunity to help support the work that they just heard about. Ways to give include an immediate gift tonight, commitment over time, and in cases of faith-based organization, a faith promise commitment. Key number eight, follow-up procedures and reporting back. Making a commitment is only part of the process. Actually getting the gift in the door is the final step. The process includes thank you letters sent promptly after the event. Out the door in 24 is my motto. Follow-up also includes sending receipts when appropriate and reminder letters for delinquent commitments. Designation cards are also included if you have a large organization. Reporting back on how their gift or donation was used is essential. This could include as often as monthly or as a minimum or every six months. A gift becomes a one-time gift when a donor doesn't know how their money was used, especially the outcome. Key number nine, the bottom line. 
A typical small dinner with six to 12 giving units can bring in $10,000 to $15,000 or more at a cost of less than $600. A typical vision trip or tour involving 12 giving units can bring in $25,000 to $100,000 at a cost of $1,500 to $10,000. A typical major donor weekend involving 15 to 30 giving units can bring in $100,000 or more at a cost of twenty dollars to $50,000. I do a weekend event that brings in multiple millions of dollars each year with 60 to 120 giving units. If done properly, with excellence, and with the right people at the event, a direct ask event can be one of the most effective fundraising strategies you will ever do. And you can continue to do it each year, changing up the speakers and the videos, but keeping the format essentially the same. There really should be nothing holding you back from doing a direct ask event. Start today. Start now. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button and be sure to subscribe to this channel. If you're having fundraising questions, submit them on Twitter at DevFStrats and use the hashtag Jim and Dava and email me at developmenteffectivenessm at gmail.com. And as always, I wish you the best as you strive to increase your income and reach the goal of becoming fully funded. Thank you.